Welcome to our post-game press conference. We have Minnesota State and Cato here with us with head coach Emily TC and she has with Natalie Kramer. So welcome coach. We'll start with an opening statement and we'll open up questions. Sure. Um, a huge credit to Missouri Western today. I thought they did an outstanding job of um, really withstanding our initial punch there uh, and just came back with an incredible fight to really kind of get themselves back into a, a really good swing there in the second quarter. Um, really kind of had us on our heels there for a second. We had to make some necessary adjustments at the half, uh, and I thought we did a great job with that, which has been um, a really a good credit to this basketball team and their leadership uh, to be ready to do those things on the fly. Um, certainly not our prettiest game. I don't know uh, many games where we've had 25 turnovers. Generally, that turnover margin is uh, a huge uh, benefit for our team. And, and today, I thought, again, huge credit to Missouri Western with some of their pressure, uh, getting us a little bit rattled and rushed. And uh, a great opportunity for us to come back and, and sharpen our tools a little bit more uh, to, to be able to take care of the basketball and give ourselves more chances on the offensive end. But uh, just thought our team showed a lot of resiliency and grit uh, to withstand that second run there by Missouri Western and, um, and just finish strong. Coach, look at that initial run, I mean, 26-6 at the end of the first, but what was working so well on that initial punch that you um, well, obviously, we, we're a defensive-minded team, and I think when we just have that right focus, uh, the offense just kind of falls into place. Um, you know, just I thought we talked early on about, um, you know, just trying not to over-dribble early in possessions, you know, and typically uh, we really like to get that, that attack mindset going. Um, and I thought, you know, we, we settled into the idea of, of kind of making that ball reversal a couple times before we looked for the attack um, and just – just the overall team chemistry, team basketball out there, second chance points, you know, just that that type of having each other's backs. Coach, you talked about having uh, them having, you having 25 turnovers. You forced 25 of your own, which resulted in 29 points off of turnovers for you. Just talk about defensively what was working for you there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty typical for us. You know, I we probably average somewhere in the upper 20s to 30 turn, forced turnovers a game. And so that's, that's a big part of our offense that we've come to rely on, uh, being able to convert points from our, our steals and our just causing turnovers there. And I thought uh, that's, again, where we just take a lot of pressure off of our half-court offense when we can convert off of those, uh, I guess, maybe easier points in, in transition from turnovers. Ellie, the first couple of minutes, you're going to process. I feel like it's more stuff that we throw to for mm -hmm. five, six, seven sessions in a row. They've got a couple of turnovers going. they got that ball moving a little bit. How important was it to kind of withstand that maybe mental, mental push that you got back early from that? not getting buckets to fall and then using those turnovers. Oh, yeah, like Coach said, we really thrive on our defense, starting our offense, and kind of just getting some of the jitters out, kind of just the first game of the NCAA tournament, so just getting those jitters out and kind of just staying the course and relying more on each other. Natalie, obviously, you know, teams in your conference mm -hmm. know what's, what's coming. There's not really a, you know, an expected look in their eyes. Yeah. What was it like out there seeing very Western players really experiencing that pressure? Yeah, honestly, they threw a couple different actions at us that kind of got us on our toes a little bit, and um, us having to adjust to that really threw us for a loop, but I think it was good and challenging for us. Coach well, Natalie and Coach, um, regular season champ of the MIAA, the two seed, your seven seed coming in. Is there a bit of a chip on your shoulder coming in? Like, well, oh, people are overlooking us just a little bit. Um, you know, I think – we just have so much respect for this region. Um, you know, two years ago, Missouri Western was in the exact same boat. And, uh, you know, we, we, we've all year talked about the idea of outside noise and not getting caught up in what, you know, things that can distract us from our overall goals. So, you know, we just talked a lot this last week about, you know, I don't, I don't really care what seed we are. We're going to have to beat, you know, three teams through the course of this. And so we just got to stay locked in on us. Certainly, you know, we want to represent the NSIC well. Uh, we believe that our conference is a, a really tough conference and, um, you know, deserves a lot of credit. And so we want to come here and, and show show up for that. But I don't know if there's a lot of underlying, like, oh, we're out to prove something. We know it's it's a lot of tight numbers. This this region is tough, and we just got to take care of our business. Coach, talk about the rematch with Sorry, the board yeah. page you got coming up on tomorrow. Um, you guys were a different team back in November, but talk about, you know, you guys have been playing a lot better since. You guys are a complete different team. Talk about having that rematch with Fort Hayes. Yeah, again, ton of respect for Hayes. You know, we've had a, a little history with them over the course of the last uh, several years here, and uh, it's exciting. It's that's what we're 
we're hyped about. That's what we talk about come free season is, you know, this is this is why we're going through these grinds because, you know, come come March, we want to be in a good position, uh, feeling confident about things. But um, yeah, you know, we we know they're they're different, too. They've grown a lot since opening weekend. Um, you know, we were changed a lot since that time. And um, yeah, just one possession at a time. We're, we're excited about, you know, having a chance to move on here. Now, we talk about the bench today. You've had great production from the bench all year. Yes. Today, but the bench mm -hmm. came in today and did a great job for you guys. Just the confidence that when, no matter what the solution looks like, that five on the floor is going to be first one. Yeah, any five that's on the floor can just bring a spark for us. We really talk about how our bench comes out and they just bring something. And it doesn't matter who's out there. So we have trust in everyone and we rely on everyone. And it's just who our team is. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank yeah, you. thank you.